Grigory Perelman, is a Russian mathematician who refused $1 million for his proof to one of the most difficult problems in mathematics. Poincare Conjecture Poincare Conjecture was one of the initial seven millennium problems designated by Clay Mathematics Institute. Besides the prize, he was one of four mathematicians awarded the Fields Medal. The Fields Medal, often described as mathematics equivalent to the Nobel Prize, is given every four years, and several can be awarded at once. Besides Dr. Perelman, three professors of mathematics were awarded Fields Medals this year. Andre Okonkov of Princeton. Terence Dow of University of California, Los Angeles. And, Wendelin Werner of the University of Paris Sud in Orsay. But he refused the medal too. I don't want to be on display like an animal in a zoo. I'm not a hero of mathematics. I'm not even that successful. That is why I don't want to have everybody looking at me. Solving the century-old riddle, Perelman himself becomes a riddle. He was the first mathematician ever to decline the Fields Medal. He is known for refusing all prizes because of the unethical nature of the mathematical community. Grigori had said years before that he would solve the Poincare conjecture but no one gave him any attention. Later, when he did publish a proof, the scientific community's first reaction was to claim that it was another wrong proof without taking any look. This saddens Grigori that the community is not taking new ideas seriously. Later, when it was determined that his proof is in fact correct, things changed suddenly. He had job offers from several prestigious universities, mathematicians wanting to collaborate, invitations for talks and many more. He was disappointed in the evil efforts of the Fields medalist, Xing Tung Yao, to downplay Perelman's role in the proof, and promote the work of Cao, and Zhu, towards solving the conjecture. Though, the efforts failed, no one took any action. Grigori said that the community should give half of his credit to Richard S. Hamilton, who is the inventor of Ritchie Flow, as Ritchie Flow was the foundation of the proof. Even Hamilton was not happy that Grigori used his tool to make such a groundbreaking discovery and he, himself, could not do it. The community refused to give credit to Hamilton. All these lead, to Grigori's refusal to accept the Clay Millennium Prize, and the Fields Medal. Though, he refused the prizes, he did a world tour, following his discovery, and gave talks at several prestigious universities like MIT. Following a few months of the tour, he stopped making public appearances again. So, what was Grigori's discovery? Poincare conjecture was first proposed by a French mathematician named, Henry Poincare in 1904. It deals with, topology. If we stretch a rubber band around the surface of an apple, then we can shrink it down to a point by moving it slowly, without tearing it, and without allowing it to leave the surface. On the other hand, if we imagine that the same rubber band has somehow been stretched in the appropriate direction around a donut, then there is no way of shrinking it to a point without breaking either the rubber band or the donut. We say the surface of the apple is, simply connected, but that the surface of the donut is not. Poincare, almost a hundred years ago, knew that, a two-dimensional sphere is essentially characterized by this property of simple connectivity, and asked the corresponding question for the three-dimensional sphere. He said we can do the same thing for three spheres as well, but he couldn't prove it. 
Grigory Perelman solved this problem by publishing a series of papers in 2002-2003. Poincaré conjecture was solved for cases with four dimensions and more, but the three-dimensional case couldn't be proved, and was considered to be very complex. As a result, the timeline is as follows. In 1904, Henri Poincaré defined the conjecture as a key topology problem. In 1960, Stefan Smale solved it for cases with five dimensions and more. In 1982, Michael Friedman solved it for four dimensions. Richard S. Hamilton made Ritchie flow to solve it for three dimensions, but failed. In 2000, the conjecture was included in Clay Millennium Prize. In 2002, Grigori completed the proof using a modified version of Hamilton's work. In 2010, his proof was accepted by Clay Millennium Prize, but Grigori refused. It took us, 98 years from defining the problem to proving it completely. Grigory Perelman is known for solving the Poincaré conjecture and refusing the awards, but very few know that he has made other significant contributions in mathematics as well. In 1990, he made significant contributions in Alexandrov spaces. In 1994, he solved sole conjecture in Riemannian geometry which was unsolved for 20 years. In 2002, he solved the Poincaré conjecture which was unsolved for 98 years. In 2002, he also solved Thurston's geometrization conjecture. Based on a 2019 study, the IQ of Grigory Perelman is 172. Perelman now leads his life solely, in his native town St. Petersburg. In his personal life, he likes to remain isolated and wants to live on his own. Undoubtedly, Perelman is a man of his word, he never drove into mathematics, and those complex stuff, just because of fame or money. If you enjoyed the content of this video, click the subscribe button so you can receive more content like this every week. Thank you.